As an IB teacher, I can regurgitate 99.9% .9 of the syllabus, but this is the 0.1% that I just can't get in my head. All right then, the chlorides as we go across, Al2Cl6, that's a little bit covalent, silicon tetrachloride, there are two chlorides of phosphorus that you need to remember, sulfur, that isn't mentioned, and Cl2, the chloride of chlorine, strangely. All right then, so adding them to water, this is what the assessment statement is all about. Well, the first one, you just get salty water. Sodium chloride dissolves in water to form a neutral solution. But magnesium chloride, if you remember your salt hydrolysis, well, that dissolves to give a solution of magnesium hydroxide and some, a little bit of hydrochloric acid. So let me just do the salt hydrolysis for you. Dissociate the ionic compound, the equilibrium for water, all right then, and so the magnesium is going to react with the hydroxide ions. It's a weak base, so that's going to pull the hydroxide out of solution and make it into a solid, leaving excess H plus ions behind. Excess H plus ions. Because HCl, that's a strong acid, it fully dissociates. So magnesium chloride is slightly acidic. Aluminium chloride with water is going to give me aluminium oxide, and again, hydrochloric acid. In fact, hydrochloric acid comes up pretty much all the time. We're gonna be fussy, the state symbols, aluminium chloride's a solid, aluminium oxide, it's ionic, it's gonna be a solid, and hydrochloric acid, that's a solution. Silicon tetrachloride, I just can't seem to get these ones into my head. Silicon hydroxide and hydrochloric acid, Balancing it out. Again, hydrochloric acid strong, silicon hydroxide's weak. So it's going to be acidic, the solution, when you, uh, when you react water with silicon tetrachloride. Phosphorus, let's look at the trichloride first. Makes phosphoric, no, no, no. It's H3PO3. That's not phosphoric acid, that's phosphorus acid and hydrochloric acid, so that's going to be acidic. That makes phosphoric acid, the pentachloride. Again, I've no real advice on how to make this easy. It's just hydrochloric acid all the time. The IB don't often ask about this, and it's only one point if it, if it comes up. Now, I thought that the pentachloride was a liquid, but no, it's actually a solid. There's so many more van der Waals bonds because there's more electrons compared to the trichloride, it's actually going to be a solid. Okay, so hydrochloric acid with everything except for sodium chloride, and chlorine in water makes HCl, okay, so hydrochloric acid for everything, and whatever that chemical is there, you don't need to know the name of that. Once again, no real tips on how to make this easy. Sorry about that, you just have to sit and learn it.